Flash the gamer. You know, whole lot of game shit. Never lane switch. You know, we're gonna get into this. Continue this championship run with Kenny Adams. You know, he a whole beast. So let's get it. Kenny Adams. That's the name. Yo. Says so a member of my gym, so I gotta switch to a whole nother training gym. Mm. Oh, one of my best gyms. That's cool. We don't need that much training, so you know. Your boy is a beast already. Sure do take a while to you know, load up. Training. Let's drill. Uh, ladder drills. We're going to do a lot of the ladder drills. the week out. Close screen takes a real long time. There's nothing I don't like about these games. What we're going to do this little week, we're going to do level changes. Glitch power. Now it's time to get into the game. Get into this fight. Whoop homie's brains. You feel me? Let's get into this fight. Damn about the hype. I just care about my strength and, you know, my abilities. Damn all that hype. fight. I whoop boy head. I whoop that little nigga head. I whoop your head, boy. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender. Making the walk to the octagon here tonight, he is challenging the champion whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As I'm about to whoop this nigga. I don't whoop him, I got too much mouth. 
Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. That is there he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the date for this get to main it. event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with similar height Should be able to whoop home. In reach. He, oh. Now here's Bruce Buff. Alright, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Alright, so here he is, the UFC champion. Wow! Uh-huh. What's up? What's up? Oh, look at oh, what's this. Up? Who saw that coming? Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. What's up? What's up? A kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Dos Santos. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up? up the footwork What's here, up? Joe, and What's make the requisite adjustment. What's from? What's from me? He's in big, big trouble. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance top bonuses that. late in the night. A huge kick for the really knockout sure. victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and mm. he knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Let's look at that from a different camera. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. I whip your hair, boy. Yeah, Murgliata's called a stop for this contest. At one minute, 36 seconds in the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout. That's right. That's how we do a big round here. 